Everyone's heard it. Go to college, get a degree, and you'll land a six-figure tech job. But what if I told you that's not always how it plays out? Today, we're diving deep into the truth about computer science degrees, the good, the bad, and what schools won't tell you. Let's break the myth wide open. When people think of CS degrees, they imagine building apps, launching startups, or working at Google. But in reality, here's what you actually study. Math-heavy courses, discrete math, linear algebra, calculus, theory-based CS, algorithms, data structures, automata theory, low-level programming, C, assembly, memory management, computer architecture, and operating systems. Most of your coursework is not focused on building real-world apps. When I took my first CS course, I expected to build websites. Instead, I spent weeks writing a sorting algorithm in C, just to beat my professor's benchmark by 0.01 seconds. CS degrees are meant to teach you how computers work, not how to use them to solve modern problems. Let's be honest. A CS degree doesn't guarantee you a job. Why? Because companies don't care how you learned, they care what you can do. Can you build things? Can you solve problems? Can you write clean, maintainable code? Many graduates can't. Some don't even know how to to use GitHub. And that's why bootcamp grads and self-taught devs are getting hired faster. They focus on skills, portfolio, and networking, not just passing theory exams. According to a 2024 Stack Overflow survey, 40% of developers don't have a CS degree and they're working just fine. Now don't get it twisted, a CS degree is not useless. Here's where it shines. You want to go into academia or research. You're aiming for companies like Google, which still favor degrees. You genuinely love computer theory and want a strong foundation. You want to learn how computers work, not just how to code. But if you're in it only to become a software developer, developer, there are faster, cheaper, and more flexible options. So what if you don't get a degree? Here are powerful alternatives. Coding boot camps, fast, focused, and hands-on. You build projects and learn job-ready tools. Self-taught routes. Learn through YouTube, FreeCodeCamp, Udemy, or ChatGPT. Open source contributions. Get real-world experience and make your GitHub impressive. Online certifications. Google IT certs, Meta's front-end dev course, AWS certifications all respected. Tech internships or freelancing. Even unpaid projects add experience that employers love. Here's the truth no one tells you. A CS degree is a tool. Can help, but only if you use it right. Whether you go to college or not, the world of tech rewards doers, not just degree holders. If you build things, solve real problems, and never stop learning, you're already ahead. The question isn't, should I get a CS degree? It's, what path helps me become the best developer I can be? If you're stuck deciding on college versus self-taught, let me know in the comments. I'll reply personally. Like, subscribe, and remember, it's not about the path you take, it's about how far you're willing to go. See you in the next one.